Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got my little mitts on there on the new Triumph Rocket 3 GT. So uh, very fortunate today to have uh, the loan of this bike uh, for a little while. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited, very excited to uh, to take it out and uh, test this baby out. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump on and uh, see how this baby performs. <coughs> Right, the start up process on this is you push that one up uh, to enable the ignition, enable, enable the display, down to the middle, clutch in in the usual way with Triumph and uh, hit that hit that start up button. Oh my god, when you rip this thing the whole bike moves, it kind of twists. <laughs> oh I'm looking forward to this. I've been waiting for this for a while. I know I know uh this bike has been reviewed lots of times over but yes this is the first time I've managed to be able to get my little mitts on one <laughs> first thing I notice on this is obviously this is the GT this is the Rocket 3 GT the G uh, Rocket 3 GT so the, the foot pegs are, uh, are forward obviously this is a cruiser going to go nice and easy Oh. Pigeon nearly head coming towards me there. Oh, you definitely fall in love with this. Yeah, like I say, this is a proper uh, cruiser. No messing about. This thing's on steroids. <laughs> yeah, the, the sound of that engine. It's a two and a half liter. This is where I'm going to start with this because there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about with this bike. It's a two and a half liter. This is the world's biggest production engine ever made this thing so it's 165 brake horsepower 6,000 rpm 6,000 rpm and it's got a whopping 221 newton meters of torque 221 newton meters of torque at 4,000 rpm and believe me I'm, I'm, I'm itching to feel that that performance so I'm just gonna get used to the, the riding position of this bike lovely and smooth lovely and smooth isn't it Nice, up, nice upright position here. Sounds absolutely lovely. Yeah, the first thing I notice with this is obviously is the foot, the position of the the foot pegs forward on the GT model. These are obviously in a different position to the uh, the R. There's a few different uh, you know changes on this one. I can feel the wind blowing up my trousers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this has got shearer suspension, front and rear. The shearer suspension on the front is uh, the 47 millimeter, 47 millimeter telescopic upside down forks, with I believe 120 uh, millimeter travel. You could possibly bottom that out if you weren't, too, you know, the brakes if you were too too heavy on the old brakes. Uh, the rear suspension again, shearer fully adjustable um, on the rear, and. I think we're blessed on this but this has got the there's no expense spared on this whatsoever i'll tell you now this has got the stylema calipers the m4 stylema calipers on the front the m4s and we'll, we'll give them a little test in a bit just that mirror a little bit i think this is just one of those bikes that everybody's going to look at it's a proper conversation maker i should think as well and uh, i'll be perfectly honest i've not really ridden uh the, cru the cruisers before. Oh, Jesus! Just tickling the throttle there. This is a very intimidating bike to look at. The first thing you do when you, you know when you see it there in the flesh is you think to yourself, oh "My God, that's a big old bike! It's a big old bike! It's got a wheelbase of 1,677 millimeter. That's the wheelbase." Uh, with a rake I believe of 27.9 degrees, that's the rake. Um, the weight of the bike, I think it's 294 kilos dry. So obviously you've got the, you're going to have the, the, the weight of the uh, the fuel and the oil. I should think it's probably got a fair old sump on this thing, so it holds a lot of oil. And all your other fluids, your coolant and what have you. But yeah, not going to go too crazy. Like I said, take, you have to gel with the bike, you have to you know, you can't just go crazy. The perfect weather for this today as well. Perfect weather. 
oh, I'm being overtaken by the Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, anyway, back to the brakes. Let's try the brakes. Wow. Nothing behind, so. <laughs> yeah, back to the brakes. The brakes are 320 millimeter discs on the front, dual, uh, dual discs, and I believe it's 300 millimeter on the rear. So I'm going to pull you over. We're going to have a little look around this thing. We're going to have a little look. Uh, I think a nice little spot here to pull in. Oh, neutral. Yeah, no problems finding a neutral. Let's have a little look. And the indicator off. Right. Sounds absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Let's turn it off for a minute. So anyway, I'll have a wander around. Wow. Just wow, look at that. Look at that. You've got 17 inch uh, um, cast alloy wheels on the front and 16 inch on the back. The rim size, I believe, is three and a half on the front and seven and a half inch on the rear. And look at these tyres, look at these tyres, Avon Cobra Chromes. And I believe these tyres are actually made for this model, <laughs> believe it or not. They're made for this model, and wow, look at that, it's got a, a 240, 240 rear section tyre there. Absolutely unbelievable, and a 150 on the front. <laughs> a 150 on the front. <laughs> Unbelievable, unbelievable. I love the lights as well. The lights on there, absolutely gorgeous. The twin twin headlights. Yeah, two and a half litre Rocket 3 GT. It's also shaft driven this. So it's, obviously this is not the best side of the bike here. Yeah, it's shaft driven, uh, all tucked away inside here. So very low on the maintenance, very low on the maintenance there. No chain to worry about. So <laughs> yeah. Brembo, on, Brembo caliper on the rear as well, Stylinus, yeah, Stylema. You've also got braided, braided lines on here, a lot of size, no expense spared on these Triumphs nowadays. And what would that also be in the GT, you have this adjustable, I think it's adjustable actually, yeah, it's adjustable, rear, rear backrest for your passenger. So, <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed, I love the colour, it's the silver ice I believe, or the ice silver, whatever which way round. Um, is the oil there's a proper like car dipstick underneath there I'm not going to pull it all out but yeah absolutely gorgeous bike I love the colour wow alright let's jump back on we'll try and turn this round somewhere <laughs> probably easier said than done actually fire up into the middle again clutch in here we go. Ah, not too bad, not too bad. I was expecting that to be more of a mission, to be honest, to turn that around there, but no problems. No problems at all. Here we go. <laughs> it's got different riding modes on this again i believe it's got the the road the rider i think i'm on road at the moment so we'll test out the sport yeah it's got sport as well and uh the rider configurable mode as well so i'll have a little play with that in a bit absolutely gorgeous i've got i love the riding position as well love the riding position tell you what i also like and uh, i've noticed is um I believe all the all the wiring is tucked in these handlebars here, which neatens everything up. Nice little screen on there as well, keep the wind off you. And actually, yeah, I'm not, not feeling too much of that at the moment, but... It's got six gears, one the usual, one down, five up. And a bucket loads of torque. Oh my word. <laughs> Rain it in a bit. 
I think the, uh, the riding position with the foot pegs is obviously the cruiser for feet, feet forward would take some getting used to. It's not my usual riding position on my other bikes and uh, most of the bikes uh, I test. And as well, which I will mention is, you know, the, the amazing amount of torque that this bike claims, the 221 newton meters of torque. Put that into perspective, my Suzuki GSX R1000R has 117 newton meters of torque. This is 221. <laughs> wow, I've got to go easy on this. I believe this bike has only done a few miles. I'm probably one of, the, well, I am actually the first one out on this. I'm the first rider out on this uh, bike today. I think it's done about three miles, so I really need to go easy. If there's such a thing as going easy on a two and a half litre bike, it's basically a car engine bolted into a bike. This thing's on steroids. Good visibility through the mirrors. Very, very good vis visibility through the mirrors. I think the actual height uh, is, is uh, 1,066 millimetres. Ooh. Uh, that's not the height with the mirrors, that's just the, just the bars, so the bars are fairly wide and this being the, the GT, th GT, GT model has a different style in the bars, they're more pulled, drawn in towards uh, the rider very, very nice very nice, very very privileged to be riding this today, this bike com comes in at around I believe, I think they start off at around £20,000 um, this one, I believe, uh, is about 21,300 thereabouts. So it's a very expensive bike. Very expensive bike. This is the creme de la creme. This thing. The creme de la creme. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'm going to... What are we going to do here? I'm going to go on the A11. I'm going to probably swing it round here somewhere if I can. How many times have I said wow today? <laughs> this bike also has cruise control as well. Uh, it looks like it has the same in, uh, button cluster as my street triple. Yeah. The, the, the uh, added, added uh, benefit is this cruise control and you've also got heated grips here which would be very nice. It's a proper mile muncher this thing. Proper mile muncher. I think the claimed MPG is about 41, just over 41 MPG try and turn around somewhere what be here in here yeah, I think it's about 41 mpg which is like I say depending on how you ride this thing I'll try and turn around without putting my feet down not bad not bad but yeah when you rev this thing the whole bike seems to twist with the, the pure power of this engine <laughs> well, let's see if we can change the change the rider mode, shall we? What do we want? Sport. Well, let's go for the sport, shall we? There we go. That'll do us. See if we can notice the difference with this when I can finally get over here. Got a lot of traffic on the road today. Hello, sir. This has got an 18 litre fuel tank, which really, it's not really that big, is it? But I think they're, they're looking at probably keeping the weight down on the bike. I think the bike, like I say, weighs 284 kilos, this model. And you can't really feel it when you're rolling. Can't really feel it at all. So if, not, obviously, you'll be, if you're moving out, in and out of your garage, you'd feel the weight there, but very 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 impressed with this like I say try the triumphs now they take so much beating I really do the, the finish the fit and the finish across the bike absolutely stunning no expense spared whatsoever as usual and again you get that cust great customer satisfaction with, with triumph which can't be can't be moaned at <coughs> Oh, the old exhaust is popping away there. Wow. 
not going to go too mad, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah. Christ. You certainly feel that power. That torque. When we talk about torque, we're talking about rotational force. 221 newton meters of rotational force. Another thing I will mention with this bike is, as usual with Triumph, you get, you know, there's loads of optional extras, genuine accessories, and I think you can up, you can uh, upgrade this so it's got a quick shifter and blipper, I believe. You can also enable the Bluetooth, uh, by the Bluetooth and, uh, module to enable all of your your turn by turn satellite uh, navigation and uh, your phone. Connect your phone. You have to excuse me if I'm a little bit speechless now and then, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, I can see them selling plenty of these, plenty of these. There is also now you've got the two two uh, two new model. Well, I said them new models. They're uh, the black. So you've got the triple black and just the black. Hello, sir. And I believe that they're limited to a thousand, but that's um, worldwide. So. Yeah, there's various different changes with them, I believe. Not not loads, but obviously the the traditional black. Wow, this thing is unbelievable. The brakes, the stopping power as well. You think of the weight, the weight with this bike. You know that the you would understand why they put a high-end uh, brake calipers and, and discs on this model because you'd struggle to stop this thing. You would. I'm actually going to be quite sorry to give this back. What have I been out? I've only been out about 15 minutes. It would be interesting to try the uh, the R out with the, uh, the mid-set foot rests and the different bar position. Hydraulic clutch on this as well. Hydraulic clutch. Torque assisted. So it's not heavy at all. It's no heavier than a 125. <laughs> oh. what a glorious day to be out today couldn't have picked a better day for this couldn't have picked a better day still a little bit nippy but nice can't grumble whatsoever today can't grumble whatsoever we're coming into the town in a minute so we'll see what this is like at low speed in, in, uh, in traffic so this bike has only done about three well I'd only done about three miles when it was wheeled out of the showroom, so... Really don't want to be, uh... Leaning on... I mean, the tyres obviously aren't even scrubbed in either, so... <laughs> but yeah, I think this is 21,000... 21,000 this one. 21,300, I believe. For this model. It's got the nice, uh, silver ice... Paint. <coughs> I like the Terminator on this. <laughs> God, that torque, I tell you what, that's something else. It's got a lovely roar as well. It's not the loudest of exhaust notes, but this has got obviously a triple, three into one, stainless steel exhaust. Very nice. Very nice. Brushed, br brushed uh, stainless fuel cap there, or brushed alloy, should I say. Have a look at that. Don't know how that's going to fare with the weather. God. You've got to hang on to this thing. How <laughs> you got to hang on to this thing. But yeah, like I say, there's suspension, show of suspension, 47 millimeter uh, upside down forks, telescopic for your compression and your rebound. Really uh, adjustable there. Like I say, it's not set up for me. This is straight out of the showroom after a PDI. So, very nice indeed. 120 millimetre, 120 millimetres of travel on the front forks. Handles lovely. Handles lovely. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just trying to relax, kind of relax my legs a little bit on the, relax my feet on the pegs. 
it's a little bit tensed up before but as I'm getting you more and more used to this like I'm kind of relaxing into the bike a bit more which is good which is good very impressed very impressed not going to go too in uh, too much detail with the dash because I'm more interested in riding the bike at the moment and getting the feel for the bike um, it is a TFT dash so plenty of um, options on the dash I think maybe with the model they might you know may have looked a bit more sort of retro with a I don't know maybe a couple of old style dials I don't know. looks like you can adjust that as well no, maybe not yes you can you can tell the display oh that's good yeah, you can tell the dash with this here I didn't know that I had that fun uh, that I got that feature on my speed triple it took me uh, a little while to know to work that one out Just little things like that you know if you've got the sun glaring at it at it you can adjust it once it more for your you know if you're a taller rider or anyway it's enough about that gorgeous gorgeous LED lighting on this as well I believe LED lighting all round so I should think that'd be very good uh, very good for night time I think it's got the night time uh, auto you know dash as well slow down a bit but right, we're now coming into the village so see what she's like at lower speed see it's not too snatchy I'm in sport mode actually so uh, I think I'll put it in rider or road actually the rider mode is the configurable one so you could change your settings as you please but this yeah this is in road mode nice and smooth what a perfect day for this absolutely gorgeous day today So yeah, being a 285 kilo, 84 kilo, whatever bike, you don't really feel the, the weight of it. I think it's all low down. It's all low down. We'll see what see, we'll see at these lights here. Gearbox is lovely and smooth. Lovely and smooth. I'll say the usual one down six up gear gearbox. Alright. Oh. Uh, the seat height here as well, I'm, I'm touching the floor fa uh, flat footed here, touching the road flat footed here, the seat height is 750mm I believe, 750mm, so I think it's a bit lower than the the R, I believe this one, again this has got the, the backrest as well for the pillion passenger on the back, make them feel a bit more secure when you're winding this thing open, when you're ringing it on. But yeah, you can't feel any of the weight. I'll take it, you know, until you start leaning this bike. If you used to lean this bike over now and get to a certain point, then yeah, it'd be game over. But we won't be doing that. <laughs> it's something you have to be aware of at sort of low speed, really, is, yeah, it's not the lightest of bikes, but... Lovely. I think the competition for this is the BMW R R18. But yeah, I've not rode one of those. So I've not, not really rode that many cruisers, um, so this is quite new to me as well. well. I'm taking it nice and easy, nice and easy. Absolutely gorgeous though, no issues at all at low speeds. You've got confidence in the brakes as well. To stop you, should you need to stop in a hurry. Ah. Oh. Like I say, there is a load of uh, additional optional extras for Triumph for the Nort in the in the range. I think I believe there's about, I think there's over 50 on for, for this. Over 50. I believe the only thing that you won't be able to uh, change is the front mudguard. I know the the, the new blacks. Um, I've got a carbon fibre front mudguard, and it's not on a, not on an added accessory additional accessory I think it's been made purely for for the black and the the triple black but yeah I'd, I'd, I'd highly recommend if you're into a, the cruiser scene or whatever to 
get yourself to your local dealer and get a test ride on one when possible um, I'm certainly um, glad I have would I have one? well that's that golden question isn't it I think with this I think this couldn't be my only only bike I'd have to have another one and there's only so much space in my, <laughs> in my garage and there's only so much funds there's only so, so much funding so yeah I'd probably end up with uh, a fairly drained bank account because <laughs> I do own two other bikes <laughs> one of them being a Triumph as well uh, the Street Triple uh, I'm hoping to get out on the Speed Triple as, uh, when, when uh, possible as well in the future that'll be good and uh, do a nice little review on that but yeah my, my Street Triple is the same colour as this and I think this is probably the colour that I would go for because I, lo I love it I love the colour I know tra a traditional Triumph is black but uh, they do do a red as well. I forget the actual name of it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Oh, so I've got to go easy on this today because it is a de is a de it's a demonstrator and it hasn't done many miles. So I'm not going to be not going to be going crazy. Like I say, the tyres on this, the Avon tyres are made, I believe, purposely for this bike. So, what about that? Unique. I think I think you could go anywhere with this. You pull over and stop for a brew or whatever. And I'll tell you what, this would be the topic of conversation. I'd call this the friend maker. <laughs> the friend maker. I, just, I know it's 20 grand. I know, oh, just over 20 grand. I know that. But, again, it's a lot of money. High-end quality. The creme de la creme of the bikes. The cruisers, I would say. <coughs> Look at this. No issues whatsoever through the traffic. I haven't even put my feet down yet. Although I better do it in a minute. <laughs> Five mile an hour. Five mile an hour. That's all. And she's still rolling. Four mile an hour. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> I want to stall it. And anyway, I really do appreciate you joining. If you haven't subscribed, Consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Be much appreciate. There's like I said, there's plenty more bike content coming, plenty more reviews where possible. And uh, yeah, I do appreciate you know your your view and your comments. If you've got any comments or anything you'd like to see me test ride in the future, then uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Drop a little comment in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you all when I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Much appreciate you. Take care. And uh, I'm now going to have some more fun on the old uh, Rocket 3 GT. See ya.